How's it going guys? You're the one one for with the same video and today I'm gonna give you tips to help you prep for GoFest 2020 and the Pokemons that might be sp that will be spawning at GoFest 2020 from the the lot of research that we did and from the photo that we got. So let's get started with tip number one. Tip number one, Pokemon storage. You want to make sure you have enough Pokemon storage for this coming weekend at GoFest. For 2020, here's why. Because you don't want to be that type of you be because you don't want to transfer like a bunch of Pokemon like every 20 minutes. So I so what helps is help clean your storage out. Because we just had guys community day. And so Clear any bad IVs, obviously not shinies though, and trade Pokemon that helps to clear your storage. And if you have trouble transit storage, and if you have coins, you can use that to help increase your storage level. Because I'm currently sitting at 14 IVs. 1800 so I'm probably going to increase to 2000 maybe to 2100 so I have enough big storage for, for both days and now yeah and let's go with tip number two tip number two is the same thing with tip number one big storage you want to make sure you have enough big storage like you want to make sure you have enough great balls arch balls pineapps Going around this and have a few silver pineapps catching incenses and lures. Here's why. The reason why is you want to make sure you have enough great balls and ultra balls is to help catch tough Pokemon like Snowlax would be a tough one. Gibble would be a I just said Gibble would be a good one to use on. Shines, obviously you want to use Ultra Balls with Gunnarazes on those to make sure you have enough of those. So, Pokemon would be helpful to, to catch candy for candy you need to use the most to help catch it better. Pokemon would be used to be used for the, the extra candies on those. And another thing to be, I'm going to tie this to this quick catching. Quick catching except for shinies. So, let's say. There's like a plus of 30 or more Pokemon. You want a quick catch to make sure you get like each chance to get everyone. But all I like to do sometimes is to try and check each one of them, then quick catch it for trying to get the candy for it. So that would be useful as well. And this will go on to nip. Tip number three is to, like I said, last tip. To have enough star pieces, lucky eggs, and incense, and lures. The reason why is, you want to, I don't know how long the incense is. I think it's the reason why maybe it was like 8 hours long. Maybe it might be like that. Maybe 9 or 10. So this is like a 10 hour event. They might just do a 10 hour incense or a 5 hour incense. So you can just drop 2 for 10 hours. I don't know how they're going to do that. Lucky eggs, same thing. It might be re re-roll. Like, it, maybe like for instance, in myself for one hour, then re-roll it. It might do that. And saw pieces is to get extra stardust. So I have, that will help, especially on your, if you're your seven day catch streak. And you, you first catch it on a more. That's going to be a lot of starters with the extra piece you have down and extra XP with the lucky egg as well. And for me, I have like quite a few Gracia lures, maybe like three or four. And I might pop those at Goldfest to try to hopefully catch a Lauren Sancho, possibly a shiny one. But I will get that down in a later video. Later in the video and... Tip number four. Tip number four is, is a key one. 
Have fun. Have fun at Gold Fest this weekend. Have what will you do with your family, friends, have Discord, Pokemon group friends. Have fun. The reason that have fun is you're doing it with your friend, family, Discord, Pokemon friends. You're doing this with fair you're doing them with them. Have fun. Catch up Pokemon. Don't like overhype yourself of how many shinies you're gonna get because it's gonna ruin the fun. Just like have like a specific goal to get to, like maybe like have first of his goal is to have like ten. Alright? Well, this is my speculation. I know how you guys wanna do it for yourself. But do not like OBX and it's like I'm gonna get like eighty shinies in both days. That'd be a good goal again. That'd be really cool to get 80 shines. Like like myself. I love to, love to get 80 shines. But if I only get like 20 on the first day and like 30 on the second day. I'd be happy with that. So like have fun. Make sure you put Pokemon storage. Bake storage. And have extra saw pieces, incense, lures, and lucky eggs. Just in case you want to have a lucky egg. Because when the, when the friend uh, comes along, they might do something special with the lucky egg. Who knows? And here's the Pokemon will be might be from the map and the special unlocks that we got. We spawning at Go these are the Pokemon might be spawning at Go. So we have oh no, we don't know which unknowns might be spawning. It might be I don't know. I don't have. And I don't know what we're spawning. It might be A, question mark, how many points we it might spell out Victini. Who knows? Chinecho, Pikachu, Survivor, Zangus, Eevee, Snowax, possibly a shiny Snowax, Amanananola, Chansey, Pharisee, Alone Grammar, Lola Marowak, Togetic, Dragtini, Litwick, and the worst Pokemon all, Gibble. So I like that one. I love Gable. That would be a cool Pokemon to catch. My one of my favorites of this spot and it's just those Charizard in the photo, but we might get the family of it. We might get Charm and Sev Charizard. Who knows? So that would be like day one for Pokemon. Like I know we don't know which ones. Chin Chow, Pikachu, Survivor, Singus, Eevee, Snorlax, Papa Shiny Snorlax. I'm an Onola, Chansey, Ferris, Long Grammar, Lola, Marowak, Torgetic, Drag Team, Liquor, and Gibble. Those will be, will be most probably be, be on day one. And we don't know what will be spawning on day two. But speculations, don't call me on this though. Fictini. I might be getting Fictini as a mythical Pokemon through the research on for day one. And for day two, I don't know what will be getting the special research. Or Pokemon, or what will be happening at all. But here are the five things you can expect at Gold Fest. So we have fire, water, grass, battle, and friendship. So these will be rotating every hour. So we get five to two hours, grass two hours, water for two hours, battle for two hours, and friendship for two hours. So once all these complete once, it's gonna recycle and we're gonna do it again. So that's gonna be awesome. And like I said, make sure you guys have fun. This you're doing it with your friend, family. Just have fun. Don't Yeah, just have fun. Don't like disappoint yourself that you didn't get your favorite shiny. And his uh his ace like for me, let's say I get like I don't know, like two shiny snow axes if shiny snow is released. I don't know it's shiny snow We might be releasing at Gold Fest. It might, who knows? But let's say I get two, but some of my friends didn't get none, or I don't put some of the guy none, and they have a Pokemon that I needed to complete the family. I will certainly trade them a shiny snow ox for it. And I don't know if they're going to do this as well. They might do five special trades. 
we know that might be during the trade thing or the way like the bad the friendship thing or like during the event some um, we might get the five special traits or after the event who knows we didn't know what's gonna be happening we didn't we but we do know that we're gonna get fire water grass battle and friendship for one each hour and then it's gonna rotate for another hour so it'll be from 11 to 10 your local time for both days for so july 25th and july 26th before I end today's video, I want to redo my tips. So make sure you're in the Pokemon storage. You will need that because you do want to kind of transit Pokemon every 20 minutes. Base storage. You want to make sure you lock Great Balls, Ultra Balls, Gun Rises, Pineapps. Make sure you have soft pieces, lucky instances, and make sure you have fun. And let me know down in the comments if these tips help you prep for Go Fast for 2020. And what are you uh, most looking for into Go Fast for the weekend for July 25th, July 26th, from 11 to 10 in local time? So let me know down in the comments if these tips help you enough to help prep for your Go Fest. If it did, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button and leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, but we additionally, before we get, additionally, we don't know that um, they might add additional spins for us for Gold Fest. That's one thing that we don't know. And last year, I participated in my first Gold Fest with a bunch of friends of mine. Shout out to them. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. I went to Gold, Chicago Gold Fest, had a lot of fun. Caught a lot of new shiny Pokemon, caught a new Pokemon, that was awesome. And I'm really looking for this weekend Gold Fest with my friends and the people I play with. Yeah, with my friends. So excited for this weekend. I hope we have a blast and have fun. You remember, guys. Have fun this weekend at Gold Fest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.